Hey everyone, in today's video, we're going to go over tips and tricks on how to build a free to play team in NHL 22 HUD. Um, obviously, when you spend a little bit of money on packs in the store, your chances of having a better team are higher, but obviously not guaranteed. So, I'm going to show you where to get your free packs, how to build that team, and everything else that you'll need to know without having to spend any money. So, let's get right into it. All right, so first thing. It's Hot Rush. Hot Rush is a very, very big one. Um, in Hot Rush, very you can play offline. Uh, you don't need to play again. Play online. It doesn't matter your skill level. You can unlock packs every season. This one is gonna reset very shortly. So you can see, you get coins, you get packs, you get collectibles. Um, you may not always get the best cards in the packs but getting players is still a bonus and I'll show you that show you why shortly so you can see here I didn't end up finishing it as you see here as you advance tiers the packs that you get end up being a little bit better so there's one hot rush all right the next thing is squad battles again offline game mode Skill level is not going to play a huge part. Um, there's always lots and lots of games. You get your refreshes. You don't have to play on the hardest difficulty. Um, you can play on a lower difficulty. Just make sure you get the W, get those points. Just grind that out. And again, every week, you get those free packs. And all those packs are always tradable, which is a bonus if you're looking to sell, sell players, again, to buy players that you want. So Hot Rush is a big one that you should definitely grind, especially if you're playing free-to-play. Alright, so next we're going to look at Hot Rivals. Um, obviously based on your skill level, you're put, put into a certain division. You have two two reward options. You have your tradable, which you're going to get one of each pack for, well, for silver, which is what I'm in. Or you can take the untradable option, which will get twice as many packs. Now when you have a free-to-play team... You're not going to spend money, which means you're not going to be opening a lot of packs. Your untradable is probably your best bet. This way you'll have a lot of cards to do sets, like upcoming sets. Um, even if you get, for example, two 85 overall cards, well, you know you're going to be able to use at least one of those in an upcoming um, event where it's going to require an 80, 84 plus overall or an 85 plus overall player. So if you're free to play, highly recommend doing the the untradables and getting twice as many cards. Um, next is your sets. Um, we'll look at the sets here. Your seasonal rewards. This is your best best uh, place to get better cards. I mean, if you're Team is not that great. There's always so you save up your 40 collectibles, get that 85 guaranteed overall player. It'll definitely help your team out. If you've got a, like a decent team already and you just kind of want to improve, definitely save up for your power up icon. Um, you always got your X Factor, which you can always upgrade. So I would definitely recommend getting that whenever you can. Um, base what you use your single rewards on. On how often you're going to be on. If you're not going to play every day, then just use the 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 rewards that require fewer collectibles, and just bank on what you can. And then you've got your exchange sets. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this one very often because you're gonna have to use up your 80 overall. Cards. If you do have a lot, then by all means, do it once in a while. But do not. I wouldn't use any cards. I'd say 81 or 82 overall or higher. I would save those for your event sets. But definitely do the silver upgrade and gold upgrade whenever you can. Those 70 overall gold players aren't going to do much for you in sets, anyways. Um. Also, you got your X Factor set, which resets eventually you can do that that gives you a player you can upgrade throughout the year um it's always nice to have the best cards in the game but 
the game is supposed to be fun. Make sure you're using players and cards that you like. Your favorite players. Um, guys you want to try out. I'll show you my team. My team is all untradeable. Um, all guys I've gotten in free packs. Uh, not a single player. I think I have one player on my team I can sell. Well, two players. I have Quinn Hughes and Dougie Hamilton. That's it. Everything else I've done neither sets. I haven't gotten any of these in packs. I've had to grind out the sets. Same with Suzuki. I grinded out the set. My free X factors. I got Huberto lucky in a free pack. Same with Kachuk. Just had to grind it out. So it is possible. My team is not horrible, but it's not the best team. But it'll get me by for now. And I put maybe maybe twenty dollars into the game, and I've gotten. Nothing that you can notice that makes my team that much better. I uh, I highly recommend not spending uh, any coins on packs. Your chances of uh, chances of getting those good players to help your team is very very low. Better off just to saving those coins for upgrading your X factors. That's exactly what I did with Drysital. I just bought the base one last night for 70k. Um, just grinded it out, saved up the coins. As much as it sucks and you're like, oh, I want to get a good player. The risk is just not worth the reward. The amount of coins you're going to have to spend on packs to get that one player. You can probably end up just buying them in the auction house for that price. So definitely don't uh, or try not to spend coins on packs. Well, there you have it. A few tips, tricks on how to, uh, how to build a free-to-play team. Again, have fun. Get the players you want. Don't always go after the best cards. Obviously, the best cards are great to have, but it's a game. It's supposed to be fun. Pick players you want. Play with players you want to play with. It's definitely more enjoyable when you score goals with your favorite players. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe for some more. Hopefully, do some more videos like this in the future.